Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of Matchbox Marks Diecast Restorations. So, continuing with my majorettes, I just did a majorette uh, last video. I think it was last video, it was a Renault. And <clears throat> so this time I'm doing a Pompier. So I'm assuming Pompier is French for uh, like a pumper truck. So here we go, let's check this out. So there we go, Majorette Pompier, number 207. So this one is in fairly decent shape. I don't have any decals, but I have something that is similar that I made up. So anyway, looks like the, the ladder is a little broken and twisted, so I'll see if I can address that and fix it. So, all right, I'm going to take this baby apart and see what I've got. Stay tuned. All right, so let's get the little fire pumper out here. So, I already drilled out the two rivets right there. Get a little close up here. And, all right, let's see what we've got going on here. Okay, so here is the chassis. And it looks like, so here's the in, the uh, interior, okay, but it looks like, see I thought this thing spun around, but it doesn't. So we have to somehow pry this up without breaking it. All right, so let me see if I can. There we go. All right, easy cheesy. So here's the ladder. Looks like I just need to glue that and it should be able to stay after I glue it. Hopefully not going to do anything with the ladder. And here's the exterior. Got some pretty good detail there, all the gauges. The only problems with these sometimes is all the little nooks and crannies for the stripper to get into. There's that. Here's the interior. So this thing holds the ladder. It doesn't spin. So that's very hard if you're a youngster playing with this thing because normally the ladders spin. And then here's the chassis. Uh, let me see here. Oh yeah. The good old majorette suspension system. I love it. All right. So, got all the pieces. Let me zoom back out. There we go. All right. Put this in the stripper and start cleaning. Stay tuned. All right. Here's the uh, Pompey Air fire engine. There's the detailed gauges. Shined up pretty good. Now, I'm going to put it in my solution and bake it, get all the, so I can just get all the germs off and fingerprints and everything and then get ready for primer. All right, stay tuned. All right, here's a fire engine. Getting ready to put a coat of red on it. So, this should come out very nice when I'm done. Good detail on this casting. That's amazing. All right, stay tuned. All right, I've got all the parts ready to go back together for my little Pompier fire truck. I did fix the ladder. 
uh, all the rungs were coming out as well as it was very wonky and somehow bent so I heated it up with a lighter and kind of straightened it out the best I could so anyway that'll go on and then here's the body nice fire engine red so alright I'm gonna put it together and put it on the roundabout stay tuned all right, before we take a look at the final reveal, let's see what I started with. Uh, fire truck. Basically, not too bad, but definitely could use a facelift. So, there's just nothing like a bright new uh, fire engine. So, all right, let's see where I ended up. All right, it is time for the reveal for my little Pompier Majorette fire truck. So, this was actually a lot of fun. Uh, I had to fix the ladder. And it doesn't exactly line up with the front over the beacons. Uh, and I don't want to force it because it'll break. So anyway, painted a nice fire engine red, cleaned the interior. Uh, did the tires in known oil because they were really uh, ratty. Chromed out the rims. And uh, yeah, this was really fun. So yeah, the ladder's not in the best of shape, but... Uh, that's what I had to work with. So anyway, if you like this video, hit the like button, leave a comment, all that good jazz. And I always appreciate you watching my videos. And I'll catch you on the next one. That's all, folks.